Hey everybody, welcome to Worship Tutorials. Bradford here. It's been a long time. We have not done a vlog in so long, but it's Easter and we got to talking and thinking, we just wanna provide some encouragement to all you worship leaders and team members out there with this one. But also just give you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. Brian and I specifically are at different churches. And so we're gonna give you a little bit of the taste of what's going on at both of our churches. So you can just see how we do Easter. Video. Molly is going um, to sing. Um, we'll, we'll test it tonight. Run through. Let's do it. So yep. I'm using my big board that Brian Amelian did. I, I used to switch out rigs pretty regularly just because it was fun and I wanted to try new stuff. But since I have my board back, I've been using my board every week, been hauling that, and I'm using quad cortex running in stereo that's behind me. I don't really need to touch it. I like having it just in case something goes wrong. But yeah, and I'm singing some BGVs. I don't necessarily need to do as much tonight. We have two services tonight, Saturday, two on Sunday morning. I'll do more on Sunday morning. But I got it, BGVs make it a little more full. I think it helps people when they hear lots of voices singing. I think it makes them feel more comfortable to sing too. So even if all I'm doing is a lower octave of the melody, hey, it's helpful. All right, so you may recognize this guy. This is Sam Canoli. Uh, he's been on the channel a handful of times, been in some videos, he's done some songs with us. Uh, but he's the worship leader at Hope Community Church. That's the church I get the privilege of serving at. And since we're doing this, I just wanted him just to provide you all with a little bit of encouragement, uh, especially when we consider Easter. It seems like a big, tremendous Sunday, but it's not just about pulling off cool stuff. It's about pointing people to Jesus. So Sam, can you just, anything just to show some encouragement to these worship leaders and staff? Yeah, I think nowadays more than ever, churches are looking for ways to wow people. How can we get people in the seats? How can we get people to come back? And uh, and the 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 pull is towards the lights, the show, the cool stuff. The cool yeah. stuff. And uh, that's one of the things that our church has more and more been getting away from. And the reason is this: Jesus is enough. Mm, that's good. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is if we can glorify him and we can lift him up and we can put the focus on him instead of all the cool things that we can try to do, all that stuff is a poor substitute for the presence of God. And so our goal is to lift Jesus up. Our goal is to glorify him. And then the Holy Spirit will do the thing that only he can do anyway. It doesn't matter about the lights and all that. All that stuff is great. All that stuff is cool. But if you don't have that, it doesn't mean you're not being effective. At the end of the day, if you're not glorifying Jesus, if he's not the focus, then everything you do is in vain anyway. But if you lack those things or you're somewhere in between and you don't have all the resources everyone does, all you need to be focused on is how can we get everyone focused on the most important person, and that is Christ. And so if we can focus on Jesus, he's gonna do what he does by the power of his spirit. And then we get to let go of that burden and release all that pressure of trying to do the thing and when we do that, then we can actually worship in spirit and in truth. And so I just want to encourage you. Exactly, right? right? 4, 424, 420. I encourage you, no matter what size church you are, no how big, how big your team is or how much production value you have, hey, Jesus is enough. What's this? That's right. What is that? But these are trolls. That's right. What do you see over there? What's that? What's that thing over there? Want to go see it? 
Okay, so our set for this service, like I said, we kept it simple. We did the old traditional hymn, Were You There When They Crucified My Lord? That's how we started service tonight, and uh, we'll start tomorrow morning, of course. But that is actually how we ended Good Friday service on our live stream. We did that song, but we, we did not sing the verse that, Were You There When He Rose Up From The Grave? So we started service with the video we used for the live stream, but we used it tonight. And then we live, as we started singing live, we actually sang that verse, were you there when he rose up from the grave? Great moment. People really, especially people who knew that hymn, but even still, just the lyrics, just everybody knew it's easy. Easter, he's alive. We went right into Phil Wickham's This Is Our God, and then like right quick in to I Thank God by Maverick City announcements, and then we did Gratitude by Brandon Lake. Post message, we did Forever, probably at this point, one of like the Easter staples. It was killer. That's it for Hope Community Church and me. Uh, Nick, thank you, and everybody for tagging along. You're going to see what Brian's doing over at his church, Chatham Community. He is risen, Nick! He's risen indeed. Hey, man, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Chatham Community Church. Uh, let's do a quick little rig rundown. Fractal FM9, foot controller. Uh, we're done. <laughs> Different person, so you need a wide shot, <laughs> right? Um, I see people online posting a lot about their set list. We got a pretty simple, like we didn't do anything crazy this morning. We're starting with the song Glorious Day. I get to sing that one and play lead guitar at the same time, which is a lot of fun. Also dangerous. I've already messed up. Then we go into the song Forever, uh, like one of the Carrie Joe versions, kind of mashup of like a live version and a recorded version. Uh, then we're doing a hymn, Crowning with Many Crowns. Uh, then we've got a message. Then after the service, we're doing uh, King of Kings, Hillsong. It's a great way to, to cap it off. So uh, pretty simple, nothing crazy, but uh, it's going to be good. Chatham Community Church. This is Caitlin. This is my worship leader. We're going to share a few things, just a, uh, a few encouragements for you this morning. I was thinking about like Easter Sunday. It's, uh, it's a lot of pressure on worship teams. I've been involved where it's like, if you mess up, the whole thing's going to unravel. And I just want to tell you that it's like, it's not our job to save people. While it's good to push ourselves, maybe do something you haven't done before, push the envelope a little bit at your church, always come, do your best. But just remember, if you mess up, like we did Glorious Day and I'm playing lead guitar while I'm singing, which is not easy. And at one point I got to like look out of the corner of my eye and get to the fret up, you know, in the key of D. And I played it, I played the lead part in E flat. I was off by one fret. It was, it was sweet. Nick in the back was like, great job, Ryan. <laughs> It's not like the Holy Spirit is not going to move when something like that. If you make a mistake, technical difficulties happen, power goes out, whatever. God is not going to like stop moving because we messed a transition up. Like, it's not our job to save people. The Holy Spirit's going to do what the Holy Spirit's going to do. So I just encourage you, any Sunday, do your best, bring everything you have, be yourself authentically, but understand that like we're just setting the table and God is the one doing the work in people's hearts and just pray for that to happen. Yeah, yeah and I just 
just want to say it's so easy to get caught up in the details and the administrative work and making sure transitions flow and everything like that. But I want to encourage you to just take a moment on Sunday morning to trust your team, take a breath and worship with your congregation because that's where the beauty is. That's the moment that you're creating. So enjoy it, embrace it and worship with your community. I got my uniform on, yeah. <laughs> denim on denim. So anyway, thank you for joining us here on Easter. Let us know in the comments. Do you have some encouragement for worship leaders out there, especially when it comes to big Sundays like Easter, Christmas, these kinds of things? Uh, write it down there in the comments. Love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe we'll do some more Sunday vlogs in the future. I'd love to. Nick and I have had a lot of fun. It's like old times back here, Nick. Mm -hmm. it took me back. Mm -hmm. It was a good time. Get your t-shirts. Oh yeah, get your t-shirts. Do not be deceived. We're not at a Cracker Barrel. I am sitting on a rocking chair on the porch uh, outside my church. I I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen these before in my life. They, they showed up on Easter, so I'm taking advantage. 